You got to have half empty, a third empty, a quarter. But when you get into Christ, He will fill you up to overflowing. There is a fullness in the Spirit of God that you will never know about until you get in this love affair with God. So are you in chapter 12, Mark? I'm going to begin reading in verse number 28. Mark chapter 12, verse 28. It says this. One of the teachers of the law came and heard them debating. Noticing that Jesus had given them a good answer, he asked them, of all the commandments, which is the most important? The most important one answered Jesus is this. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is the Lord, and the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this. Love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. Well said, teacher, the man replied. You are right in saying that God is one, and there is no other but him. To love with all your heart, with all your understanding, with all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself is more important than all work offerings and sacrifices. When Jesus saw that he had answered wisely, he said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. And from then on, no one dared ask him any more questions. No one asked any more questions. Interesting. He said, You are not far from the kingdom of God. I want you to underline that in your Bible. He says, you are not far from the kingdom of God. You're not far from the kingdom. He didn't say you were in the kingdom. He said, you're not far from the kingdom. You're not far from the kingdom. I love this story, this, this concept of love, because how many of you have ever seen two seventh or eighth graders that think they're in love? With the little dreamy eyes, they're all excited. <laughs> they don't even know what love is, but they think they're in love. See, in America, we don't understand how to use the word love. When you look at that word in the Hebrew or Greek, it means differently than what we think. How many have ever said you love Wendy's or you love in and out You use the word love wrong. You don't love it, you just like it. But we use that word love for anything. I love shoes. Oh, man, I love that car. Oh, I love that TV show. Because that's the way we use the word. Oh, I love the Dallas Cowboys. Oh, I love the Oakland Raiders. Whatever team you love. Okay, not the old Raiders, they don't have that. But whatever team you love, you talk about that team. You're using the word love incorrectly. Mm -hmm. You can't love everything the same. It's just impossible. I love my wife, but I don't love my wife like I love tacos. I really like tacos. I don't love tacos, I just like tacos. But I really do love Deidre. There's a difference. So you gotta make sure that you don't use words out of context, okay? So the next time you, man, I just love this hammer. You don't love the hammer. You really like the hammer. <laughs> Are you following me? Uh, There's a love affair that we need. And this love affair is with Jesus Christ. you got to become desperate. The way you are worshiping God is the way you should live your life. The way you are worshiping God is the way you should live your life. People ought to recognize that you love God. Worship is just not just music. See, we mistake in the church when the worship pastor sits down and says, worship is done. No, you worship when you get an offering. If you've never been to Africa, it would blow your mind. They run to the altar with no money. Men will rip buttons off of their shirt and throw it in the offering plate. Because they want to give to God. They don't have much, but what they have, they give to God because they love Him. They are in a love affair with God. I've been in foreign countries. This right here would be the the best church you've ever seen overseas. They worship God on dirt floors. I mean, worship God. They don't like, they're not like Americans. In most American churches, we want three points to pole. We want service last 55 minutes so I can get out and go home. Mm. Really what you're saying when you say, I don't like the songs that Jay sang, you're not saying that you didn't like the songs, what you're saying is you didn't like the presence of God. Because oh. it's not about Jay. Anointing and beautiful voice. Yes. 
That's right. Big difference. There's a massive difference. 